Well, hello everybody. For uh, a lot of people across the country, this is a special week. It's Holy Week going into Easter weekend. And what that means for our customers, particularly on Good Friday through Easter Sunday, we have a lot of plant shutdowns out there. Now with plant shutdowns, it's also quarter end. Uh, and do expect to have some Easter hangover. And what I mean by that is it'll be slow going probably early part of next week mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, you know, I've taken the holiday off. Hey, great, glad you're having time with your family. But please understand as our customers get going again, you know, Monday, Tuesday are probably going to be slower th than normal. Um, also, at the same time, I want to give you some updates. Uh, Schaefer for freight in particular. Uh, just got some news back from one of our, our top, uh, top shippers. We are going to reduce our load counts uh, up to 19%. So excited about that. Reduce or increase? Or, I'm sorry, increase. Yeah, I Incre it was good yeah, 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 increase. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, Tim. <laughs> so yeah, going to have more freight. So that's that's exciting. Uh, but at the same time, uh, over the next few weeks, we do have some major customers that are still on shutdown. So it's going to be slow going for a couple of our top suppliers. And on Crete, we had good news this week as well. We're actually going to renew most of our business with one of our big home retail suppliers. So that was great news too, uh, that we look forward to that. That doesn't come effect to July, so we got a little ways on that, but it's good to get that wrapped up. So knowing as we come out of spring into summer, we'll have that good quality freight. But as with Schaefer, we also have, as I mentioned before, one of our largest customers has a whole warehouse shutdown uh, for a couple of weeks down in the southeast. So that will be impacting our southeast. The team is working hard. A lot of you this weekend are going to be moving trailers uh, to different parts to different customers in the southeast so we can get more freight from different customers need trailers to do that. So thanks for helping us out and moving trailers where we need them. Hey, now the bad time about spring season is also <laughs> that comes along yeah. with that is tax season. So, however, you know, hopefully most of you are getting a refund. So, just want to mention to you, hey, please use your refund wisely. You know, make sure you use that to pay down debt or, or, or save that money for future days. Yeah, and speaking of using your funds wisely, uh, we do have a lot of financial education things for, for you out there on the Crete YouTube channel. So if you go to our YouTube channel, look for that financial education playlist. There's a lot of stuff out there. We have a financial wellness program, some retirement courses. And also don't forget, you know, if you want to go look at your profit sharing, if you haven't yet this year, uh, go to your UBT account online and that will be there. Hey, kind of an update, a reminder that we, we talk about every now and again, drop lot and terminal etiquette. So obviously we've, we've talked to drivers every day and you know we have had a number of conversations on speed. So remember, these are your family members, your same team members that are in our lots. So please slow down and make sure you're, you're, you're aware of your surroundings. So uh, safe speed is, is best. And then also trash, trash is another one. Uh, somebody's gotta pick up the trash eventually. So you know, just because it's not you right then and there, somebody else has to do it. And we don't wanna be kicked out of a lot or a drop yard because we're not keeping it clean. So remember your other family members. We have some things going on at terminals, as you know. Wilmer right now, we have work starting. We have the temporary office trailers, temporary lounge trailers getting moved in there right now, getting hooked up. That means construction is gonna be starting and it's gonna make the lot a little bit of a mess, quite honestly. We're moving parking around, moving where bobtail parking is gonna be, make it a little bit more congested, but you have to, you know, as they say, no pain, no gain. Uh, we're gonna go through a little pain there as far as being cramped for space for a while. Uh, but when we're done, you know, we're gonna have twice as much parking, obviously uh, upgraded facilities for you at the terminal there. So it's gonna be great. So be patient with us. Uh, be a little slower as you're going through that Wilmer terminal because traffic's gonna be coming at you in different ways. Uh, parking could be a little bit more of a challenge. So take your time and be patient. Uh, also at our terminals, now's the time of year where we're starting to get a lot of new equipment in, particularly on the dry side. As far as trailers, that means we got to get the old ones off the road. You know, getting those off the road is really good for you. That means you know less trailers with the maintenance issues won't slow you down. But that means more of those trailers, you know, on our lots. But our, our maintenance team's doing everything they can to get those prepped for sale as fast as can as they can, and then our sales team uh, really getting those picked up as fast as they can. But it always takes a little bit of time. So as you see those sale trailers there, be patient with us. Safety update for the week. Hey, just a reminder, Easter traffic. As families are on the road spending time with each other, you wanna make sure there's gonna be increased traffic flows mm -hmm. on the highways. So increased volumes out there. So, so please, you know, watch out for traffic. Also, we mentioned last week as well, it's construction season. And I'm seeing it all over the place right here in Nebraska. And when I'm traveling, there's uh, red, uh, orange signs everywhere. So please, uh, any, if anything, watch your speed and space and, and be careful. And speaking of speed and space, uh, watch your space when you're backing. Uh, make sure you know you're getting out and look. Uh, some of our still the largest preventable accidents are fixed, hitting fixed objects. Take that time, slow down, get out of your truck, take, get that little bit of exercise, uh, and get out and look. Don't be hitting that fixed object. It's totally preventable. And also. Uh, what's totally preventable, and you guys have done a great job on, uh, is slips and falls. We have had zero slip and fall accidents in March 
We just have just a couple days left, uh, so I hope I didn't jinx this. Uh, because do remember, there are still parts of this country, uh, of the country, where it's still winter. So we are still seeing select spots out there. But great job in March so far. Uh, stay safe. CSA update. Hey, hours of service. You know, just some simple things you can do to, to help prevent an hours of service uh, issue. Make sure you have blank logs available in your tractor. Also, the second thing would be trip planning. Prior trip planning helps you with that uh, to make sure your hours of service are, are in line. And if you have any questions on PC, please call in and ask questions. It's best to know how to do that and how to log that correctly. And speaking of CSA, you know, tires, lights, and brakes, typical maintenance issues out there. So make sure you're watching those, doing good proper pre-trip inspections. You know, road trip, uh, road check is coming up in May. It's never too early to be prepared for that, getting in that pre-trip routine, and making sure you're getting your PMs done on both your tractor and the trailers you have so we don't have any issues during uh, road check. And talking of maintenance, uh, perfect time is it's getting, it's warming up. Uh, I have to fine tune my mower here uh, any week. And just want to remember, it's, that's the time to start checking your AC. Make sure your AC and your OptiIdle are functioning, that they work correctly. And if you have problems, let's talk with our shops now. Let's not wait till it gets uh, much more warmer outside and uh, make sure it's working good. Uh, also on maintenance, uh, Columbus, DeLand, Lenore City, Mechanicsburg, those are areas that are least amount of wait times when you're trying to get your, your, your services current. So please bring your equipment in there. They'll do a great job. We have the best techs in the industry. Hey, speaking of Lenore City, you know, it's uh, this weekend is also Sweet 16 weekend, and my Creighton Blue Jays are playing Tennessee. So to all of you down there in Knoxville, Lenore City, game on. We're ready for this weekend. Go Blue Jays. All right, have a great week.